mokozi mokozi wetu a na tupafura hadunia atuongoza yo atuongoza kwa neema na ana tushimba tazama we tazama yuko kwa mo jana sine mahai taisha kamwe haleluya haleluya
Upeni wana wa Mungu we. Upeni wana usukufu na nguvu. Kumwabudu Bwana kwa uzuri wake, sasa mikeni mbele zake. Upeni wana usukufu na nguvu. Yeye yeah, yeah, aliyo mpiga farao kwa mapigo kulia. Upeni wana usukufu na nguvu. Hey, alikawanya bahari ya shemu kawajika. Ni wana wa Mungu Upeni bwana utukufu na nguvu Hey tupeni bwana utukufu na nguvu we Upeni bwana utukufu na nguvu Yeye yeah, yeye yeah, aliyompiga paro kama pigo kunia Upeni bwana utukufu na nguvu Hey alikawanya bahari ya shamu ikawanjika
Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. Turagushimiye mwami. Uri mwiza kandi isi yose yuzuye icyubahiro cyawe. Hallelujah. Uyu ni umwanya utunejeje cyane. Studio sinzi ukuntu bazayigenzura utaha kubera ko turi bwisege makambi kuko imitima yacu yaguwe neza hano hano harimo ukubaho kw'Imana. Kandi tuzi neza iko kubaho kw'Imana kuje hano muri studio akakanya tuyiramya ari nako kuri mu rugo iwawe. Ibi ni bihe byiza. Petero byamugeze yaravuga ngo duce ingando. Turumva twakwirarira hano. Tugahimbaza izina ry'Imana. Twabitangiye tunezerewe umunezero witaye kuje muri twe duhimbaza. Turangije turatwarwa. Ichama na uga tukwa arugu. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 Tukushimi emana kubgiwi hebdiza, kugui mteguro mnyezi. Amen. Nubundi turacha komeje, mwuri Afrika haguruka, tugie kumvi jamburi jimana. Bibili ravu angu ya shize hejuru, ijamburi jayo, ili rutisha, izi narjayo. Nukufu angu izi narjayo, ili musi ijamburi jayo. Kukwicho ya vuzi. Kitaja kibura guhera. Amen. Uyumusi ya isemu gukoresha umukozi w’Imana Reverend Philip. Ariko mbere yuko tuza kumumva. Mm. Uh, imana mutuwabarile iraza gukoresha umukozi w’Imana Titus Masika. Mm. Kuva mgyugu cha Kenya. Uwimana ikoresha ibyubu tukwari. Mm. Ndese bjinishi tukwana mubo nye kenshi. Mm. Ariko mbere yuko tuza kumvi jambo jimana. Mm. Tugie kumva ijambo riva kumutima umushumba wacu aposo Dr. Paul Gitwaz. Muziki nunize Angelique na Keza. Bibi rafuga ngo mungumvire imana, wako ngo mungumvire abahanuzi wayo, kujina ngo muramire mjihugu, mutere limbere mjihugu. Ijambo rivuye kumutima umuhanuzi, imani muvu gishije, irjongi irijo, rijerituma, do tell him, but so that you might prosper. So we are going to prosper. To get kumva, mukozi imana apostle Dr. Paul Gitwaza hari jambo rito ashaka kutubgira rito mumganya ari kodi nini mucha tubgira kandi icha gutegeka uji kore nyuma nyuma ya ho turaza kumvi jambo jiman imani wa umugish. It's marvelous. Yes, I'm going to praise Jesus. We thank God for this ongoing Africa Haguruka. Turashimimana kuwa mazikuijisha, awa yoboye, nawa ndete, na, 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 we thank God for those who have been preaching, those leading revival sessions and everyone. Ndagirango, muriwa mwara kurikira humuri hose. 
I believe you have been following everywhere you are. We thank our technical team who are working day and night. Servant of God who have been preaching. And those that we are waiting for the day to come, may God bless you. I just want to encourage you to keep on praying for this conference until the closing day. And also thanking our intercessors team. May God bless you so much. Continue and pray for this conference. I want you to tell you one thing. One thing that we will do on the day of closing this conference. I want you to prepare and be ready. Go and purchase a bread. And, and the uh, juice. Wanyuma. The last day of the conference. Africa Aguruka. The day of closing Africa Haguruka. All of us will share Holy Communion. Ndizerako, uh, ka Africa. I believe that we are going to be one in the spirit just like Africa. We will conclude this conference with the Holy Communion. Wherever you are around the world, be ready for this Holy Communion. I will lead, I will lead you through the ritual, but you have a bread, and you will have juice. That's what I wanted to tell you. Continue and enjoy the conference with this Africa Haguruka conference. Yes, May Jesus bless you. Amen. Amen. Yes, Gloire au Seigneur Jésus. Nous rendons grâce à l'Éternel pour la conférence Afrique Lève-toi en cours. Mm. Nous rendons grâce à l'Éternel pour tous les intervenants durant les séminaires, les modérateurs, même les prédicateurs. J'ose croire que vous nous suivez de partout. Nous apprécions notre groupe qui travaille sans répit et ne se repose pas. Les serviteurs de Dieu qui ont intervenu et d'autres que nous attendons. Que Dieu vous bénisse. J'aimerais vous encourager à continuer à prier pour la conférence afin qu'elle se termine bien. Tout en appréciant les intercesseurs. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Continuez à prier pour la conférence. Et j'aimerais vous partager une petite de ce que nous ferons le dernier jour de cette conférence. J'aimerais vous demander à vous préparer, acheter du pain et acheter du jus. Le dernier jour, quand nous clôturerons la conférence, nous partagerons la Sainte Seine. Je crois fermement que nous deviendrons un comme Afrique. Cette conférence sera clôturée par une sainte Où que vous soyez sur le globe, préparez cette sainte scène. Je, je vous guiderai durant cette scène. Vous aurez votre pain et le jus. Et c'est ce que j'aimerais partager avec vous. Continuez à profiter de la conférence. De la conférence Afrique Lève-toi. Yes, que Dieu vous bénisse. Amen. Amen. Bishop Titus Masika is the founder and director of Christian Impact Mission, CIM, an ungovernmental development agency that has continuously sought to develop models and training tools for community transformation. The impact of his project won national and international acclaim. He has a doctorate in sociology, professional studies, community transformation from Gould University. 
Together with his wife, Reverend Agnes Masika, they have a passion to empower communities to break free from poverty and reliance on aid. He is the author of Mindset Change for the Community Transformation. Please welcome Bishop Titus Masika. Uh, my name is Bishop Dr. Titus Masika from Kenya. Amazina Yanjeni Bishop Dr. Titus Masika Omri Kenya. Uh, the director of uh, Christian Impact Mission, uh, a ministry that is involved in transforming people's minds and people's lives, and also from a uh, bishop of uh, Victory Life International Churches. Umuyozi mukuru wa Christian Impact Mission, umurimo ushinzwe guhindra imitetirize abantu nubuzima bw’abantu na bishop wa Victory Life International Churches. I yeah. want to bring greetings from the wonderful country of Kenya and from our ministry, Christian Impact Mission, uh, and uh, our churches, the Victory Life International. I am very glad to uh, be here today to share and be a part of Africa Arise, the 22nd edition. Since the Africa Arise began, we have seen tremendous challenges and tremendous evolution and changes taking place in Africa. Kuva Africa Guruka Yatangira, Twa Jedu Huranibin, Hubjin Shibi Duhiga, Kani Twa Jetu and Anim Hinduka, Nin Shimura Africa. And our, our mission is to light all the dark corners of Africa so that Africa will experience the great light of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today I would like to share from the Word of God from the book of John, chapter 10, verses uh, 10 um, and following. Today I would like to share from the book of John chapter 10 verse 10. Uyu munsi turaganira mu gitabo cya Yohana igice cya 10 umurongo wa 10. And I would like to read the scripture because this is the 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 most important verse that I'll go I'll be preaching from. The thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Umujura nazanwa ni chindi cherete kuiva kuicha no kurimbura. Na onje njewe no kujirango zibone ujimbo. The thief is anyone who comes to invade your family, your house at night, who is not expected, who is not invited. The thief is one who comes to interfere with your peace, the one who comes to interfere with your stability and your progress. Umujura numunwese uza kukubuza amahoro kukubuza iterambele jawe numudendezo wawo. So the devil is a thief. Dero satani numujuru. And he is responsible of all, of all the stealing uh, through his ancients or through his proxies. Satani oni uri nyuma yubujura abgose akoresheje abanu wa mukwere la changu akoresheje uriganya abgose. Because the Bible says... The devil, the thief comes to steal. The devil is the thief. So whoever comes in any form to steal from us, from individuals, from communities, from continent, he is the thief and he is a proxy of the devil. It doesn't matter what color you bear, what image you, you are in, whatever form you are, if you are coming to steal from me, you are coming to steal from my brother, then you are a, a part 
and uh, you are driven by the devil. Rero buri muntu wese buri shusho yose wazamo cyangwa ko wazumeze kose uje kwinyiba cyangwa kwiba mwene data ubuyobowe na satani. We have had in Africa you know people who came to Africa. Twagiye tugira abantu baza muri Africa. They came in the name of friends who are, who are coming to help us. Baje nk'insuti baje kudufa baje kudufasha. In the 16th century the Arabs and the Portuguese came in the name of coming to open up Africa to train with Africa. Mu kinyejana cya 1915 abanya Portugal n'abarabu baje muri Africa mu rwego rwo kutumurikira no mu rwego rwo kutangura. even our people. Ariko batangira no kwiba abantu bacu. And they took our people as slaves even overseas. But kwarabantu bacu nk'abacakara babambutsa inyanja. It doesn't matter what form you come to Africa. If you are coming to deprive us. If you are coming to take away from us. Then um, we are going to brand you as the devil. And we are going to identify. And we are going to work. We, um, we as a church, we as a church, we have to know the devil does not come with his horns and tails, but he comes through people. So the devil, um, so those friends of ours came to steal our people. They shift them like, like a high terms, like a goose. To other countries, they stole from Africa. Four hundred years, they stole over twelve million people. There is on shutiza to Zaja Mura Africa, Ziratqua, Zitquara, Ziba Banuba, to Zibatquara, Hibi Koresho, Zibatquara, Hibi, Zibambutsinanja, Zibaku, Imakamakana, Nebakara, Miron Shuminevchi, Satan Yajequiva. I want to say this. Men of us don't know how the devil works. Benson Hituzuko Satana Kora. The devil comes first of all to steal our relationship with God. Historically, the devil came to interfere, confuse and confuse Adam and her and Eve so that they would lose the relationship with God so that they lose their power, they lose their covering, they lose their protection. But we thank God. We thank God. Although the devil came to steal. Although the devil came to steal our relationship with God. Jesus came to re that we may regain that relationship. Jesus came that we may be reconciled to our God again. The devil comes to steal our identity. In Africa, we have lost our identity. We have come to believe we do not have what other races have. But I want to say today, we are not of a lesser God. I have read the Bible somewhere. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. We are created with the image of God. We are not um, a people who are of lesser God. We, have not, we are not of lesser status. We are created with the image of God. In Africa, we must arise. Africa, we must arise. To our God-given identity. Where we can compete with our brothers in other continents as equal. Because we are created, all of us, with the image of God. We have the wisdom, we have the intellectual capacity like another we have the spiritual capacity like another we have environmental capacities like another and so the devil came to steal our identity that we may believe we have our lesser god but i want to say 
I have I have come to believe. I have come to learn. God loves us. God loves Africa. Africa arise. The devil comes to steal our opportunities. In Africa we have opportunities. But he has come to make us believe. He has come to make us believe there are no opportunities in Africa. He has come to tell to make us believe opportunities are in the West. He has come to make us believe resources are in the West. But I want to say Africa is, is one of the most entold in a continent in the world. 60% of our land is arable. And we have all the minerals that come from Africa. Africa is not a secondary continent. Africa has opportunities. We hone in to believe and change our mindset. We have to change our mindset and believe that we belong to a mighty God. We have the image of God. We have the capacity. We can generate our resources in Africa. And Africa has the resources. The devil came to steal. Even our livelihoods. And that's why in Africa we have famines. We have people that are dying of hunger. Dying of wars. But I want to say. We have come to believe. In Christ Jesus we have our peace. The devil is a liar. But now uh, I want us to know the devil has been discovered. He comes in any form. He comes in the form, he can come in the form of a friend. He can come in a form of, a na of other nations. And, to, and, I, and I want us to know that the devil is a liar. He confuses himself. He, can, can, can flend, he, he, he puts on different attires to confuse himself, but the devil is the same. The Bible, the second thing the Bible says, the devil came to kill. I wonder where the devil is stationed in Africa. Because I've seen nations, tribes fighting one after another, killing one another, politicians inciting you know, a people to fight other people. And you have come to, um, to lose our identity. We have come to believe we don't belong together. And I want to say this. The devil came to Africa. And he, he made our chiefs and our, he, 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 the devil came to Africa, um, the, 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 the European came to Africa, the Portuguese, the Portuguese came to Africa, and they supplied arms to one community, so they can raid other communities, capture the, the people, kill them. Of course, we might not think it was the devil, but the devil was responsible. Because the devil is concerned about the killing and the blood. But we have the blood of Jesus Christ. We have the blood of Jesus Christ. We don't need the blood of our brothers. So the devil came to kill. But Jesus came. That we may have life. And have that life in abundance. And so today. The abundant life. Many times we hear about the abundant life. And I remember. Um, 
you know after preaching for some years I began to question myself what is wrong with our gospel we are saved we are born again we are poor we are suffering but I came to realize we did not understand the, ex the extent of the Habitan life. Because Habitan life is livelihood. Life and its longevity. Life and fulfillment. And for that matter. And for that matter. We only uh, picked the spiritual dimension. Worship. And we forgot that God is concerned about the totality of humanity. I remember uh, 12 years ago. I went to a community. That was said to be poor. That was deprived. The people were suffering. The media highlighted their, their plight. And I was in the city of Nairobi. And I decided to go and see. When I went, I discovered this community lacked in all aspects. And in a discussion uh, with the leadership, trying to assess the felt needs they told me about four needs uh, four felt needs the first one they told me they didn't have water the second one they told me they didn't have food the third one they told me their children did not have opportunity to go to school. And the fourth one, one of them sneaked at another a, a new point. Which like, looked like yeah. lack of nothing. They told me our, their, their fourth problem was witchcraft. And I listened uh, and they continued. But I stopped at the fourth needs and i thought why can't we do the um uh, we solve the four problems the four failed needs and so i went back and prayed how best do we solve the the livelihood issue and the spiritual issue and I decided we begin with the spiritual. Because the devil came to steal. So the devil should have stolen from that community. That's, that's why they were poor. The devil had stolen from those people. That's why they didn't have food. The devil had stolen from those people. That's why their children could not go to school. And so we began spiritual warfare. I mobilized um, uh, my, one of my local churches there. And we began to pray. And we began to fast. And we began to pull down the strongholds of the devil. The, um, the leaders told me. In a series of 30 years. They have suffered drought. They have suffered famine. And every project they started or was started by anyone, it ended up in failing. So I knew the devil was responsible. And we began to pull down the powers that reigned in that place. And uh, we were sure that They've can, the, that community was now free from the power of darkness. When we were sure the community was 
uh, was ripped off the powers that controlled the thinking of the people, the doing of the people, the situation of the people, the environment of the people, then we began to act. Tumaze kusobanukirwa ko abantu bamaze kuhoka mu mitekerereze yabo bamaze kuhobohoka mu mikorere yabo noneho dutangira gukora So we, we um, after we did dealt with the fourth uh, dimension problem Tumaze gukemura icyo kibazo cyakane Now we started dealing with the three backward No no dutangira gukemura bya bindi bitatu dusubira inyuma And so we said if if the problem is a lack of water why can't we harvest all the water Turavuga ngo nibi kibazo ari amazi kwera iki tutahunika amazi yose So we began a water harvesting problem a uh, program Dutangira gahunda yo guhunika amazi And people started making um, um, water pans in the horn homesteads. And within one year, they had over 1,300, you know, water pans done by themselves. Because the devil was not in control. They started now using that water to do agriculture. And now they started having food. And for the last 12 years, they have never received any relief food. And then we went on to the third, uh, to the third problem. People have money. We start, they started building schools and Abano, taking their children to school. So the four problems were dealt with by dealing with the most strategic one which was the spiritual dimension. So we, I came to prove it is true the devil is responsible for all the problems in Africa. The devil is responsible in the poverty and the wars and the fighting and the killings in Africa. And so we need the spiritual dimension. We might have seminars. We, have, we might have conferences. We might have a, a, a great um, 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 organizations. But if you have organization or, or we are organizing, if you are organizing without agonizing, then the problems will remain. Because Jesus is the light. And when we bring Jesus as the light of the world, then darkness will dispel. So within a year, we solved the problem. And it has become a spectacle in Africa. A spectacle in the country. A spectacle, a spectacle in, in the whole world. People solving their own problem that have, you know, bedeviled them for years within a year. The secret is the strategy that we used. Dealing with the devil. Who is the thief? who came to steal when we pulled down the strongholds and so what I did we, we read the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 6 which I want us to read again Ephesians chapter 6 this is what uh, our, well, was our main focus and is what I'm proposing we do in African communities. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, now verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness, in heavenly places. Therefore, Kuko to the Chira and another fit, a marason movie, a hobo, the Chira and another quarry, another fit to show us in our Tejaka, Yisi Yumi Jima, name you Kamibi Yahan. We do not wrestle with the flesh blood. Imam, but to the Chira and another fit, a movie in a marason. So I realized, so I know Chirwako, 
most of the problems in our communities. Most of the problem in our societies, in our organization, of a spiritual dimension. The devil is responsible. And if we tackle the devil through spiritual warfare, I realize one thing. After reading from a, a, a friend of mine's uh, book called uh, Professor Mbiti said, the spirits, you know, that uh, in every community there are spirits that hover around. These are the spirits that are used by witches to inflict, you know, curses upon people. So we began to arrest those powers, principalities, powers that rule uh, over our communities. When we dealt with those powers, the witchcraft was powerless. The witches were powerless. And people, whatever they did, because they were, uh, because people are not under any cars, whatever they did prospered. When you are under cars, Whatever you do does not prosper. So we discovered why problems, why projects were failing. The spirits that reigns, the evil spirits in the hair that reigned in the community made problem uh, project not succeed. And because of that, we pull down those powers. We bound those powers. We cast those powers. And, and by the grace of God, peace of God prevailed. There was Stealing in that community. Robbers in the city came from that village. Six of them were killed by, um, by the Kenyan police. From that same village. Stealing stopped. Because the devil is the thief. The devil is the killer. And when the devil is stopped, when the powers of darkness are pulled down, then victory um, um, prevails. I want to say this for other communities. People have been able to come and see that community. What I'm saying is that we need spiritual warfare in our communities. We need organized systematic spiritual warfare in our communities to clear the powers that reign over those communities. In Jesus name. Now we hear of fighting and killings. Powers empowering some factions to fight others. And thereby destabilizing their communities. So that the Western can take our, our minerals to their countries uh, uh, without paying the, uh, um, paying the right price. The enemy would like us to fight. The West might want us to fight. But the devil is concerned about the blood. The Westerners they are concerned about the minerals. But if it, we contact spiritual warfare, we bring down the forces of the strongholds of, um, of killing, the strongholds of hatred, the strongholds of Fighting your own brother. 
then we shall have peace in our African communities. There is a need in Africa, the church to raise up and realize we have, uh, we have a responsibility that the political sector doesn't have. We have a, a spiritual authority uh, that can fight the powers of darkness that reign e over in and over our communities. Dufite ubutware bwo kurwana intambara yo mwuka n'imbaraga zose z'umwijima zitwaye hejuru kandi zitwarira mu The devil has made us a, a feel comfortable. We have gone to our churches. We are worshiping, we are singing, but the devil is taking charge of African communities. Satan yatumye to abantu banyuzwe nibyo turimo dufite insengero tuzicaramo rero bituma tunyurwa nibyo Satan ariko akabari utwara Africa. Needs spiritual warfare. That is the problem, the major problem in Africa. We need to organize spiritual warfare. Systematic organized spiritual warfare. And we will secure Africa for Jesus. 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 Africa we'll be able to do our businesses freely. There are those spiritual territorial spirits that are um, now interconnectivity between one nation and another. The Christians in those territories can break those boundaries in Jesus' name. We need an alliance of Christian, you know, uh, Christian spiritual warfare across our borders so that, so that we can trend with each other. We can work with each other. Dukene ihuriro rya wa Kristo bari hirya no hino kugira ngo tubashe gukorera hamwe tubashe gucuruza hamwe kugira ngo tubashe kuba umwe We need spiritual warfare across our tribes so that we can work together with our tribesmen in the same countries Dukene intambara yo mu mwuka kugira ngo tubashe gukorana naba ni mu duce tuba dutuyemo n'imiryango tubwo kugira ngo tubashe gukorana ni Because Jesus is um, is the God of peace and our God is the God of peace and all power reigns and uh, resides in him Dukene gukora ibingi bikwera ko Yesu wacu ni wa mahoro ni Imana yacu ni ya mahoro rero dukeneye gukora ibingi bikwera ko imbaraga zose ziba muri we tugomba kwibaza for us to secure Africa, politically, socially, economically, even our environment, we must secure Africa spiritually. When we secure Africa spiritually, Africa shall be free. Africa shall prosper. In Jesus' name. And my friends, I want to say, we do not belong to a lesser God. We don't belong, um, we are not subservient to anyone. We have the capacity. We have the capacity to, to do our businesses. We have the capacity um, um, to produce and to process. Africa, we are no longer consumers. We should be producers and processors. Africa, do fit to show us if you go quicker, do fit to show us if you go quicker, you know, just now to Chiraba and Wakoresh, you know, go to fit to show us if you go And that, that's what I went to prove in that project in, uh, in Yata. If you're ever in Yonaja, you go to Mura Mushing and Akore Muria. And when people come, Avanuaje, they are able to see. Through spiritual warfare, through empowered biblical worldview, the community is a, a which was poor yesterday. A community which was poor yesterday is one of the richest. The community that had war with itself is now a free community, worshiping God, you know, packing and moving to church to look for that God who has helped them. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. The devil came to steal, kill, and to destroy. He does it in many ways. Men of us limit the work of the devil to 
a human being a one human being and uh, i am and i'm in our ministry our main one of the main thing is deliverance one of our dimension is deliverance. But delivering one person is good. Deliverance of one person is very good. But deliverance of a community is better. So we moved deliverance of individuals. Delivering from sickness. Delivering them from sickness through prayer. Delivering from demon possession through prayer. Delivering them uh, from demon uh, um, problems through prayer. And setting them free in Jesus name. Because the Bible says these signs shall follow them those who believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. In my name they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That is the right for every believer. That's the privilege for every believer. That's the authority for every believer. So casting out devils, healing the sick, it is the food for the children of God. And some of us who are listening might be suffering. But I want to tell you by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Your opportunities might have been uh, stolen by the devil. You have been working and never making advancement. Your, your, your opportunities of of ascending to the next level has been entered by the curses of the devil. Jesus came to stop those curses. And in the name of Jesus, I want to announce to you those curses in the name of Jesus those curses in the name of Jesus are broken. In Jesus' name. I have come to say to you. Those that have, um, have lost uh, all that you have gained. Because the devil has stolen it from you. That Jesus of Nazareth. Is going to restore all that was stolen. All that which was stolen. Is going to be restored in Jesus name. I want to say to those communities. Those who come to communities that look marginalized. Those that look like they have been deprived of everything. Exploited of everything. And they lack everything. That Jesus that came. Yes, that your community will have happiness. That your community will have happiness. Your community will have livelihood. Your community will have sufficiency. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And so we want to focus our prayers to, to those communities that we come from. And most of us are who are in the cities you come from a village you come from a community that looks so deprived that community needs you that community needs somebody who can intercede for them who can help them to locate the resources and to get together so you are the one who is responsible for that welfare of, your, of that community. You come from a country that is ravaged by war. And you have, you have networks of brothers and sisters. We need to have organized networks to pray for those parts of Africa that are ravaged by wars and battles that are not worthy. 
Whatever is the reason. Whatever might be the political reason. Whatever might be the social reason. The devil is responsible. And if we deprive the devil of that position. To kill and to destroy. And to steal. The Africa will be a prosperous continent. Africa is a Mugavanu Tembe. Africa shall be a prosperous continent. Africa is a Mugavanu Tembe. Our community shall be prosperous. Uduche tu kwatuza Tembe. So that's the message I'm preaching. I'm bringing to us. Ugoni kwa utunga na zani. Africa arise. Africa haguruka. And and God will give us light. Kandi mana iradu humucho. Africa we have lost. Africa tu arata kaji. Our brothers from the West over the centuries have come to steal from us. And to deprive us. But I want to say, I have read somewhere. The Bible says that Jesus came to seek and find that which was lost. Africa, we have been lost in the platform of civilization in the platform of prosperity in the in the platform of peace but jesus came to seek and to find that no, which was lost all that we have lost over the centuries Africa is going to regain in Jesus name we are going to regain in Jesus name but we must do something we must change our minds we must uh, also develop that understanding that in the name of the Lord through Jesus Christ we have regained our authority we have regained our image we have regained our status and it is the intention of God it is the will of God for us to regain that which was lost that which has been lost over the years they might have belittled us. They might have enslaved us. They might have colonized us. They might have, us. They might have um, uh, sponsored factions to fight fellow brethren. They might have stolen from us our minerals and our But I want to say, we in Africa, we don't belong to a lesser God. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27, and God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. So God created us with his image. Whether you are from Rwanda, whether you are from America, from Russia, from China, you don't belong to a, a mightier God than ours. We belong to the same God, the creator of humanity. But through and an enslavement, we have lost our identity. We have lost our image. And we have come to believe we don't have the power. We don't have the capacity. We have come to believe that others are better than us. Have others have we don't have. So they need to help us. So they need to give to us. But I want to say. Africa has capacity to give to the world. Africa has a capacity to feed the world. Because we have the biggest rivers in Africa. River Nile was stretching from East and east and going all the way to Egypt. River Congo stretching across the um, um, stretching across Africa. Zambezi. Limpopo. 
All great rivers in Africa. We have a lot of sunshine. We can export solar to the other world. Africa, we belong to the same God. Africa, arise. Africa, arise. Africa, arise to the uh, to the to this understanding. Africa, Africa, Let us arise to this understanding. We belong to a mighty God. And God loves us. And in the second verse, the Bible says, And God blessed them. Verse 28. And told her, um, and said, And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the hair, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Imani wa humujisha, imani wa wabigiriti, mworo ke mugwire mwuzure isi, ngimenye lezibiri mo mutkware amafiyo munyanja, ninyo ni nibisi gabjo mchirele, nibiji jenza kuisi. Thank you. Murakozi. So, God blessed us. Imani wa duha humujisha. As I walk, uko ngora, I believe, ni zerako, I am blessed. I am not under any curse. I am not cursed. I'm not under the curse of harm. I'm not under the curse of witches. I am blessed. Because God blessed me. How have I known man lost the blessings of God? When man sinned, he lost. He lost the glory of God. But when Jesus died on the cross, when Jesus died on the cross, when Jesus died on the cross, He reconciled us unto Him. And He said, Come unto Me. Come unto Me. And I walked to Him. I got born again. I got saved. So I'm, I am blessed. I'm a child of the living God. And the Bible says, I was given power to become. Power to become. Power to become a child of God. So as a child of God, I regained all the privileges that are in the Bible in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. So Africa, we have the capacity to multiply. Africa, we have the capacity to innovate. Africa, we have the capacity to develop resistance against every innovation, against every, uh, every catastrophe. We have the capacity to develop res um, resilience in every situation to survive and thrive even with the help of our brothers. A time is coming when African countries and, um, should send aid to the West. Because we are highland toward. We need to send our innovation to other parts of the world. We need to, to begin to pray and to ask God to give us revelation so that we can innovate and, and invent so that we can come to the stage of modernism. We have come, we have Africa, we have the capacity to come to the stage of civilization. Only we have to change our mindset. The problem in Africa is our mindset. The problem in Africa is that we, our mindset is that we don't have the capacity. We must be relieved. We must be helped. I want to say no. I have read somewhere that we are given the capacity to subdue. We are given the capacity to produce. We are given the capacity 
to do like another. And I've been able to do this. And to demonstrate. I am not under any cars. And I want all of us. All of us who are members of the Christian family to believe we have given power to become children of God. Power to become children of God. Power to do. And we have been reconciled to God again. Our relationship with God has been restored. And so we can seek the insights of God. And He can give us insight to innovate. We have all trees. We have all herbs in Africa. We buy drugs from the West. We can produce our own medicine in our own research centers. And the church is the forefront. To preach we have the capacity. Africa arise. So that we can join our brothers in the civilization table. In the civilization uh, platform. I believe we can. I believe you can. We can. In Jesus name. May we pray. Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for this message. May it inspire someone to go out and do what they have not been able to do. For Africa to arise. May you break the, the boundaries within, the spiritual boundaries within our borders that make us not even to trend with our brothers, not to love our brothers. Lord, help us. Give us the spirit of God and give us to arise to the newness of greatness to the newness of prosperity. In Jesus' name we pray. Uchaga gore imbagozo sezo muka zituma tawasha gushuru zanya nabe ene data zituma tawakunda na nabe ene data kujango tawasha gwa guru kaduteni mbele kandi ni mngizi na rja yesu dosenzi. Quel message Le révérend euh, Titus Massica, euh, pasteur, euh, euh, ami, euh, frère de notre Église, du ministère de la Parole Authentique, ainsi que de notre papa, l'apôtre Paul Guitoise, il nous a vraiment bénis ce soir. Il nous a bénis euh, d'une façon euh, inimaginable. Il a vraiment bien expliqué ce que Satan est venu faire. Et son exemple était vraiment très typique sur l'Afrique. Satan n'est venu que pour voler, tuer et détruire, selon Jean 10, 10. Mais le Seigneur Jésus, lui, il est venu pour nous donner la vie et alors la vie en abondance. Il vient de nous parler, et je vais euh, vous le dire en peu de mots, de ce que euh, Satan a fait sur le continent africain. Il nous a fermé les yeux, il nous a bandé les yeux et il nous a euh, laissé euh, un seul aspect de ce qu'est l'abondance. Et pourtant, l'Afrique, elle est riche, l'Afrique est pleine de ressources humaines, l'Afrique euh, de, de ressources minérales, l'Afrique est pleine de de talents, de jeunes talents, de découvertes et de beaucoup d'autres choses. Mais Satan nous a voilé la face et il nous a volé ce qui nous appartenait. Aujourd'hui, euh, le révérend euh, Titus Massica est en train de nous expliquer pourquoi nous ne devrions pas nous fier à ce que Satan a voulu poser devant nos yeux. Il nous a donné des exemples, euh, surtout sur la communauté dont il parle souvent euh, dans ses prédications et ses messages. Une communauté de, de son pays qui était vraiment 
pauvre, dépourvu, mais le jour où lui, son, euh, sa, sa famille et aussi euh, son ministère sont arrivés dans cette région, la vie d'une grande multitude de, po de populations a complètement changé. Et les parties d'un cap vers un autre cap euh, venant pratiquement de rien. C'est ce que l'Afrique devrait faire aujourd'hui et oublier ce que Satan a voulu nous montrer à la face, nous montrer que c'est le c'est l'Ouest, c'est les pays de l'étranger, c'est l'Europe, c'est les États-Unis qui sont plus développés, qui ont plus de, 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 de ressources, qui ont plus de connaissances. Ça n'a rien à voir parce que Dieu ne fait pas acception de ces gens. Ce qu'il a donné à A, il peut le donner aussi à B. L'Afrique a les ressources, l'Afrique a la population, spécialement que moi je vais euh, ajouter qu'il a la population jeune. Nous avons une population de jeunes. Donc nous avons beaucoup de chances et beaucoup d'opportunités pour pouvoir arriver à nos rêves. Mais le premier pas, c'est celui de découvrir, de savoir qui nous sommes, ce que nous voulons et où nous allons. En bref, le, euh, le révérend Titus Masika, il voulait dire que l'Afrique a tout pour réussir. Nous devons seulement réaliser ce que le bon Dieu nous a donné, n'est-ce pas Wow, merci beaucoup Angélique. Un message très prophétique, aussi un message de délivrance. Ouais. C'est comme cinq messages dans un lot d'un seul Exactement. message. Oui. Umurongo wa cumi awi ijambo ry’Imana ritubwira ngo intama nako umwanzi nta kindi kimuza na keretse kwica kwiba no kurimbura ariko Yesu yaje kugira ngo intama zibona ubugingo kandi bwinshi ni ikintu kidasanzwe ni ijambo ridasanzwe ndifuza rero kugufasha nawe wakurikira ijambo kugira ngo Imana iguhe wakira ubwo bugingo ndetse bwinshi kuko mwabyumvise mu buryo bwose yavuze ubugingo mu buryo bw'umubiri yavuze ubugingo mu buryo bw'umwuka yavuze ubugingo no mu maranga mutima yerekanye agace yaraki yararimo uburyo rimwe bitwazaga yuko afite ikibazo cy'umwuka ariko atari ikibazo cy'umwuka abona n'ikibazo cyari cy'umwuka cyatumaga abantu babohwa bakaba mu byaha ndetse bakaba mu rwangano nibindi bitandukanye noneho no mu buryo bufatika uburyo icya igicyakemutse ubwo mu mwuka byakemukaga nahandi byahise bikemuka no mu biri byahise bikemuka ne mpamvu nifuza kwakira haraho wowe udukurikiye kuri radio zitandukanye radio zinyuranye radio z'abaturage uko turi kumwe nazo zigera muri esheshatu na nama televiziyo agera muri abiri ndetse ku mbuga nkoranyambaga ushobora kuba udabuze ubugingo mu buryo bufatika ushobora kuba utabuze ubugingo mu maranga mutima ariko ufite ubuze ubugingo mu mwuka wayandi magambo utarakira Yesu nk'umwami n'umukiza ubuzima bwawe umukozi w'Imana yitwa Billy Graham yaravuze ngo ngo mu muntu ngo habamo vide habamo icyobo vide itagira ikindi kiyuzuza usibye Kristo wenyine ushobora kuba uyu munsi uyu mugoroba ukomeje gukurikira radio televiziyo kuri mudasobwa yawe kuri telefone yawe kugira ngo wakire ubwo bugingo mu mutima umwakire bibiri iravuga mu Roma 10 10 ngo twizeze umutima tukatuzakanwa ko yazutse mu bapfuye tukaba turakijijwe mbese nakubaza mbese wakiriye Yesu nk'umwami n'umukiza this is a, a great opportunity to mm. call anyone Whoever is following us, wherever you are, mm. whatever platform you're using, whether you are following us online or using TV or on radio, we want to call anyone who hasn't yet received the abundant grace that Pastor was talking about. There is joy, there is peace. We want to call anyone who hasn't yet received Jesus Christ as a Savior in his life so that you might have this privilege to be a child of God. Whatever media you are using, we are calling upon you to receive Jesus Christ in your life and you will be changed and has changed Africa. 
Oui, si tu n'as pas encore reçu le Seigneur Jésus-Christ comme ton sauveur et comme ton roi, ce soir, nous allons t'aider à pouvoir recevoir le Seigneur. Le, le, le révérend Titus Massica a parlé de beaucoup de choses, euh, dont euh, euh, l'aspect du spirituel et l'aspect du physique. Euh, à cet instant, euh, c'est ton aspect spirituel qui ne pourra que débloquer tous les autres aspects de ta vie. En recevant le Seigneur Jésus-Christ comme ton roi et ton sauveur, aujourd'hui tu as la priorité, tu as le privilège de pouvoir commander ce qui n'est pas à être. Tu as le privilège de pouvoir avoir ce que les enfants du royaume euh, reçoivent comme droit. Tu as aussi le pouvoir de devenir un héritier et un co-héritier avec le roi. Mais cela ne se fait qu'après avoir accepté dans ton cœur confesser de ta bouche que Jésus-Christ est le roi et le sauveur de ta vie afin de pouvoir bénéficier de tous les avantages qui sont dans le full package du salut. Amen. 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 Je suis un peu plus de temps pour vous dire que vous avez un peu plus de temps pour vous dire que vous avez un peu plus de temps pour vous dire que vous avez aho uri kumuhana aho uri ahari hose no kugira ngo aharaho izi ntama zibona ubugingo ndetse bwinshi ubona ubugingo mu mwuka mu mubiri ndetse no mu maranga mutima no mu buryo bufatika nibi ushaka kwa Kristo umwami n'umukiza usubire ma ya magambo uvuga kuti umwami Yesu Seigneur Jésus Jesus Christ uyu munsi ngo sabye imbabazi z'ibyaha byanje Je te demande aujourd'hui pardon de tous les péchés Uyu munsi umutima wanje urizeye akanwa kanje karatuye ko wazutse mu bapfuye utubabarira ibyaha byacu uhereye none duhindutse abana bawe utwakire mu bikari byawe Uhereye none mwami utubohore imbaraga zose za karande zatubuzaga gutera intambwe mwizi na rya Yesu amaraso ya Yesu ace ingoyi zose zimbuza kuva mu byaha Zimbuza kubohoka ngo nakire ubugingo bwinshi nakire ubugingo bwinshi nakire ubugingo buhoraho nizi na ry'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo in the name of Jesus Christ Amen 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 Imani baho mugisha ibintu bitatu bise biba mu mutima wawe izina rya ryanditse mu gitabo cy'ubugingo uhindutse umwana w'Imana kandi inshuti yanjye ubwo Kristo azaza gufata itorero gutora itorero uzajya mu gihugu cyo mwijo rero Imana igowe umugisha mwinshi kubakire Yesu umwami n'umukiza akaba ari ubwa mbere cyangwa utaruzi neza ko bamwakire nk'umwami n'umukiza hari numero ya telefone ni umushaka yuko uza guhamagara uyu mwanya nabantu babyitoje biteguye kukuyobora mu nzira yo gukura mu nzira y'agakiza abazagufasha ndetse baguhuza n'itorero riri hagati riri hafi yawe kugira ngo ubazagufashe mu nzira y'agakiza iyo nimero ni 078 038 84 nkoresheje ya mibare ibanza mu gihugu kugira ngo abo mu mahanga nabo babimenye ni ni guteranya 2500 7 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 
sur lequel tu peux nous écrire et nous dire que tu as reçu le Seigneur Jésus-Christ durant la conférence Afrique Lève-toi, 22e édition. C'est le plus 250, 780, 683, 466. For those who have just received Jesus Christ a while ago, here's the number you have to call or text and give us your details so that we can do the follow-up and help you into this marvelous journey you have just started. The number is plus 250-0780683466. Thank you. Murakoze cyane. Nanone kandi hari email ishobora kubafasha kugira ngo ushobore kwandika ubuhamya bwawe, ushobora kwandika ikifuzo umva wakwifuza kugira ngo tubasengere muri Zion Temple tugira itsinda ry'abanyamasengesho basenga amanywa na nijoro. Bashobora kugufasha ndetse no kugufasha gukura ni ni Africa haguruka iyo email ni Africa haguruka iyo ka ya Africa ni ni cha nkuko byandikwa mu cyongereza ariko haguruka ni haguruka mu kinyarwanda arobaz a nawa nama na amerika harimo cha akadomo org afrika haguruka arobaz a wa ma amerika irimo cha akadomo org si vous voulez nous écrire que vous avez utilisé une des plateformes sur YouTube, Facebook ou bien euh, sur euh, Twitter ou euh, la, la chaîne ou bien la plateforme que vous avez utilisée, vous pouvez aussi nous envoyer un email. Cet email euh, sera répondu immédiatement euh, par nos, nos gens, nos, 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 les serviteurs de Dieu qui vont vous aider dans ce nouveau, euh, dans ce nouveau chemin ou bien dans ce nouveau parcours que vous venez d'entreprendre. C'est Africa avec CA comme Africa, Haguruka at A W M A M E R I C A point org. Africa Haguruka at Au America point org. There is also an email address you may use. We'll be glad to hear your testimony. The email address you can use is Africa Haguruka at a w m a m e r i c a dot org africa hagruka at a w m america dot org thank you amen keza this in angelic today was a wonderful night a wonderful day wa musi bibiri yivuga ngo ni joro ryo kwibukwa twaryo hewe twafashijwe twumvaga twabyinira imana na ese nibuka david yavuze ngo ndabyinira imana yakuye so kongona ikanyimika turabyinira imana yakuye satani kongoma ikatwimika nk'ubwo ko gabami nabatambye uyu munsi byari biryoshye we are so glad we are so glad et nous allons inviter euh, les gens qui nous suivaient ce soir mm -hmm. à nous suivre ou à, à être avec nous demain mm -hmm. à partir de 17h donc c'est la même heure c'est la mm -hmm. même chaîne et nous serons avec vous euh, avec différents serviteurs de Dieu euh, comme nous l'avons dit dès le départ demain c'est la montagne de quoi Demain, on va faire une ah, forme de résumé. Le voilà, yes. le wrap-up. Yes. Et je ne me souviens pas de ça, comme il n'y a pas de ça. Je ne me souviens 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 Muri za panel, muri bya biganiro, hanyuma batukuriremo icyo ugomba gutahana. Ni kintu kizaba kidasanzwe n’ubundi ku mugoroba tuze kumva ijambo ry’Imana. Same hour, same place in Africa arise, we move from glory to glory. We'll be glad again to be with you tomorrow and the glory of God will be abundant. So we invite you, you can invite your friends, your family and everyone else you know because tomorrow is another good day. It's a good day. Abari Burundi ntabwo ari kuva mu bwiza mujya mu buyenzi no kuva mu bwiza mujya mu bundi bwiza. Reka dusabe Angelique adusengera dusoza kubwo uyu munsi. Uwiteka Imana ikomeye, Imana y'icyubahiro, Imana y'ubushobozi, Imana y'ubutware. Tugushimiye nyakora ku ngoma kuko uyu ni umuteguro wawe. Tugushimiye mwami ko uyu munsi uyu mugoroba 
wongeye kutugirira neza mu buryo butandukanye watwigishije waduhuituye waduhanuriye waduhaye ubwenge n'ubumenyi turabigushimiye nyagora ku ngoma twongereye ko kugushima kuko bakozi bawe bakoze umurimo utandukanye kugira ngo ibi byose bibe bibeho kandi tugushimiye n'abantu bose bakurikiye uyu mugoroba reka ikiganza cyawe kiza kiwe kuri buri wese uhu mugisha nyagora ku ngoma uhu mugisha uyu murimo kandi ukomeze kuturinda uturindana no na nibyo tubamo byose tukweretse rero gahunda zejo uzazimo kwa baye muzi uyu munsi nditse ubwiza buzabe ubundi bwiza turatashye ubane natwe mwizina rya Yesu Kristo dusenze kandi twizeye amen bye bye ciao